All right, this is problem 9.6 out of Fundamentals of Financial Management, Concise Ninth Edition by Brigham and Houston. This is just a simple preferred stock valuation problem. Preferred stock pays a dividend that has a growth rate of zero, so it pays a constant dividend, or that's the assumption with simple preferred stock valuations. It sells for $30 a share and pays a dividend of $2.75 at the end of each year. Oops, got a typo in there. All right, so what's the required rate of return? Well, I could plug this into the discounted cash flow model if I'm trying to just remember one. The price at time zero is equal to the dividend one year from now divided by K minus G. That's the dividend discount model. And what I have is it pays a constant dividend of $2.75. The growth rate is zero, okay, or zero percent, if you will. So it's a not it's a constant growth rate, and the price today is thirty dollars per share. All right. So the other variation where we rejigger the arithmetic and move it around, we can get. Total rate of return is equal to the dividend yield, D1 over P0, plus the long-term growth rate portion, okay? Since G is, is zero on this, the required rate of return is simply the dividend divided by the share price. That's the rate you're going to earn on this stock or you expect to earn on this stock for the foreseeable future, all right? It literally forever is the assumption. Now, we also talked earlier in the semester about a simplified perpetuity model because preferred stock is perpetuity, is a perpetuity. If you take the present value times the rate, that gives you the PMT. This is the same, when, when you apply this to preferred stock, it's still the same thing. $30 times rate would be equal to the $2.75. So your rate would be equal to $2.75 divided by 30. Okay, same stuff we've already done.